let's pretend that I didn't forget to ask an introduction. <laughs> would you like to would you like to okay. introduce yourself? Well, I'm Javi. I play Valorant with my mouth. I had an accident jumping into the sea. I hit against the, the ground. Uh, I only can move this right arm. It's not complete movement. So you have no movement of your fingers at all, only your arm? No. Every single time you pull the trigger, you have to blow air yeah. to that? Wow. What are you doing? I'm making this video because it's a super interesting case. Two to three years ago, if he came to me before, I would have had no idea what to do here. And you know, over the years of experience, I was super confident on what I can do with Javi here. Out of all the professional players I've aim coached, Javi here is the most unique client I've had, par none. Regardless, I have a job to do and I gotta do it well. So enough talking, let's go straight to the coaching. All right, this is, this is horribly organized, I'm gonna tell you this. So let's talk about peripherals real quick because I think this will be very, very different for you. Since you don't really have that much control ripping a mouse better off to get something flat just to show you uh, what i'm talking about here for example if you're using a humped mouse your only control is yeah. like kind of like over here right that's kind of the only pressure you have on your mouse yeah top and also the, the rear part. So to maximize yeah. the control on your mouse, come in, at least for your case, something more flatter. Flatter it is, you have a little bit more contact points for you because you're working off just the top and the back. While with this, a lot more control. It's going to feel like you're resting on, on a surface rather than like bouncing on the top of something. Yeah, pause right here. Pause right here. So now, let's compare it with your old sensitivity. For you guys at home, let's see what happens if another person were to play a sense that's too low. And we'll later compare if the same thing happens to Javi. So I'm going to type in the chat what I think is going to happen. Do mm -hmm. not read it. We're going to just have you play normally. Whatever I say in the chat is going to happen. Okay? Okay. All right. So I'm going to count. You don't have to worry. Two under flicks, three under flicks. Over time. Yeah, one over flick. Two over flicks, three over flicks. Uh, those are surprises, really. I'm not going to count those. Five over flicks. Uh, those doesn't count. Six over seven, eight. Jesus Christ. Read the chat. Holy shit. <laughs> Yeah, that's so, crazy you know what happens is that you're not a f***ing idiot if you see yourself under flicking you're not gonna be like oh dude i'm gonna just keep doing it no you're gonna try to fix yourself but after building the data of you under flicking you're gonna try to force yourself to flick a little bit harder now let's see if javi here does the same thing right so that's one that's two i'm not gonna count that that's three that's four that's five, that's six. Yeah, pause real quick, 10. So now let's go back to 0.12 and see the comparison. Okay. So notice how off the gate, you didn't start under flicking, right? You're just directly to it. Obviously a new sensitivity is not gonna turn Javi into the next coming of Jesus, but you'd be lying to say it doesn't help him out. Now, like a good chef, can't, you know, can't share the secret formula, but I just want to show you guys so you know I'm not giving him some random ass number. Now, <laughs> let's talk about aim theory. Holy shit, here's a fucking whiteboard again. In terms of one-shot weapons or TAC FPSs, let's pretend your dumbass is right here, okay? This is your field of, oh shit, your field of vision. This is your five to 10 degrees, okay? This is your 30 to 45, this 90 plus. All right, I'm assuming most of you degenerates are Valorant players. So sorry for your parents. The prod zone, okay? The prod zone, all right? This is good for movement, pre-aiming clips. So it's actually good to train this sometimes because you want to be able to learn how to literally maneuver better. But in Javi's case, these two circles. Yeah. For me, this is too much. Wow. I try to flick that. Who gives a fucking shit about that? This is mostly reflex. Uh, the low. This is mostly micro adjustments. So for routines, what we're mainly going to do is train this part as if 
It's that prod zone and focus on the speed and accuracy of that five to 10 degree region. Pasu is actually one of my favorite ways to kind of train for speed and accuracy, but depending on how you to it, you can actually change how you approach Pasu. In Pasu, a battle of speed and accuracy. All right, you see the shit. You prioritize higher scores to have better speed, so you outspeed the movement of a dot and shift his focuses into perfect accuracy to improve his quality of micro adjustment. But at the end of the day, who gives a shit about M theory? All right. Um, actually, when it Jeez. This is super wacky, but you configure them in a spreadsheet oh my god dude how long did all this take to set up man did it take a while it's Jeez. more than um, uh more than a month just to get how it worked but with a little bit of training let's see how javi performs in deathmatch right but oh okay okay you should not hit that holy shit. <laughs> nice Oh yeah. Ooh. There you go. Yeah, that that ha that happened. Wow. <laughs> nice. Yeah, try to hold a little bit more. Oh. Okay. Oh, kill this guy. Oh yeah. Your movement's pretty solid, mate. Okay. Okay. I see you. All right. I mean, as a recap, I mean, what do you feel about everything after this? Uh, how do you feel right now? The shots that I hit, I didn't expect it. It's mm -hmm. quicker and I didn't fail as much as I thought, which is good. And taking a bit of practice, I think I can master this. Deathmatch fucking surprised me. It was pretty good. I, I was, that was sick. That was real yeah, sick. Me too, me too, really. It was good. And, and, and the thing is that like you were saying that these guys are not reacting as fast, but here's the thing. It's just that you're reacting faster. That's what's up. You know what I mean? So that, that's real good. That's really good. For anyone who watches this video, right? Uh, where do you want people to uh, go to like find you? Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Mm -hmm. The content, it's in Spanish. I can answer you, of course. The respect is the main language is. This guy, this guy said his English bad. Your English is real good. I really want to thank Javi for being on video for this. I gave him every chance to say no, but he was really cool with being on video and talking about what specific issues he might need to focus on. You guys don't have to subscribe, but you definitely have to follow him please check the pinned comments and the description just to check out his stuff and please give him a follow but thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you guys are playing ranked more often than aim training